when ordering goods either for resale, manufacturing, or internal use. Making the purchase has many flexible methods available. To enter a purchase order, either click the PO's Receipts button on the toolbar, or from the Edit menu, select PO's Receipts. On the PO's tab, a grid lists the outstanding and completed purchases, which can be color-coded by status or other criteria using document filters, and even display just those purchase records. When there are larger document volumes, there is a Find button for locating specific purchase orders that you can view or edit, or make a copy for a new purchase. You can also create a new purchase order from a saved template, or new from scratch. Purchase orders have several screens for information. The header tab displays general information about the purchase. The primary vendor may be selected here, from the list in Adagio Payables, or in Adagio Purchase Orders, with a lookup to see other outstanding purchases for this vendor. Otherwise, it will be filled in from the first item entered. The expected receipt date may be calculated from the document date, from a day's value in the company profile. This date value will be used as a default for newly added items to the purchase order, as well as the location, event budgets, and job costing reference, and whether item level discounts are allowed. If you use Adagio order entry, you can import the outstanding items from a specific order entry sales order from here. And optional fields may be configured to allow entering information on purchases where a specific field doesn't already exist. If you use Adagio Doc Store, related PDF documents may be attached to the purchase order for reference or ease of lookup. On the Detail tab, Various types are available for selection. Items may be chosen from the list in Adagio Inventory, or non-stock items managed in Adagio Purchase Orders, when a quantity on hand doesn't need to be tracked. The primary vendor will be displayed here, if previously selected. Or a different vendor can be chosen, as purchase orders support multiple vendors on one PO. For inventory items, Either use the Find Item Search process or the Item Number Grid to select an item, which will fill in the vendor from the item record if not yet selected. An inquiry is available to view the purchase history of this item, and also if any purchase orders or sales orders for this item are outstanding. Enter the quantity you wish to order. A grid at the bottom shows the current quantity level for each location. If you have set up minimum and maximum levels, a suggested quantity to order will be displayed, and ordering more will indicate the resulting purchase will exceed the maximum. The unit cost will be filled in, based on which value you have configured to use in the company profile, or from an alternate price list, or special price, if one has been defined. If you use the competitive cost feature to keep a list of vendors who sell this item and for how much, that vendor could be chosen here. And other fields you allowed entering from the header will be available here for use. Another detail type is a miscellaneous charge, such as for shipping or duty costs. The amount of miscellaneous charges can be apportioned to the other items on the purchase order thus reflecting their true cost. And you may add single-line text comments or instructions, or multi-line text blocks, to print on the purchase order form. After items have been entered, they can be sorted on the grid in various ways, and committed by clicking the Keep Sort button. And if you right-click on an item, you can insert serial numbers or additional comments from the item. The Bill To, Ship To tab is a place to enter your billing and shipping addresses, which may be predefined from a code to save you time in entering. 
The total tab displays a summary of the purchase order for the total value and weight of the items purchased, with a breakdown by vendor. For purchase orders, only the payment terms and the discount amount are editable. The other fields are used by receipts and invoices. And the View tab allows you to see a preview of the selected form specification before the purchase order is posted and sent to the vendor. When entry is complete, click the Post button to save the document. The next purchase order number is used in the format set in the entry template, but this can be changed as desired. Items will be updated for the quantity on purchase order by location, as will the purchase order amount on selected job estimates. The purchase order can then be printed or emailed or faxed to the vendor, even immediately after posting, if this company profile option has been enabled. Choose the purchase order specification you have designed to generate the form. Enter your vendor purchases easily with time-saving features and options implemented. Find out more about Adagio from the product page on our website. Watch another training video on this Adagio program from the playlist. Or subscribe to the Adagio YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.